In this lesson, we will not study anything new, but I will give you one assignment for the practice of different things we have covered so far. The assignment is based on relatively bigger dataset as compared to different datasets we used in different lessons. It is US domestic traffic data, basically the air traffic data from January 2013 to May 2013. This is real air traffic data and before I explain the task and the data, I should mention here that I got this assignment from some Pakistani students studying abroad for like 6 to 7 years ago. It was a MATLAB assignment and what I have done here is that I have transformed the MATLAB data to CSV files and those can be used in our Python program. So the complete MATLAB based assignment has been modified for the Python based task. Actually, I want to acknowledge and give credit to the person who designed this originally, but unfortunately, I could not find the details of that person. I will add the acknowledgement in the description whenever I will get the information. Anyways, now let's head towards the task. As I said that it is a US domestic air traffic data, so the first part of our database is for the flights and is available in a CSV file. One flight data contains different information. For example, the airline ID, this will specify the airline company. There is another part of the database for the airlines and this ID will link the information of the flight with that part of the database. Then are two IDs from ID and to ID. These refer to the IDs of the airports, the flight originated from and destined to. Again there is one part of the database for the airports and these IDs will link to that. Then is aircraft ID. I hope you know the difference between airline and aircraft. Airline is one company providing the air transport services and aircraft is the airplane itself. One airline company can have aircrafts of different manufacturers. This aircraft ID will also link to another part of the database of the aircraft. Then is other information which is not linked to some other database. This include distance which is the distance between the two airports. Then airtime which is the total airtime in minutes. Then are number of passengers transported. And finally the month number. One important thing to notice is that one flight data value can represent more than one actual flights. It means that one flight data represents all flights of this particular airline with this particular aircraft from this particular airport to this airport in this month. So this airtime is cumulative airtime of all such flights and these passengers also represent total number of passengers in all those flights. However, this distance is one fixed distance between two airports whether there was single flight or the multiple. Now let me explain how different parts of the database are connected with each other. This is our flight database which I explained. This airline ID refers to another database of airlines. One airline data value has the ID, code and the name of the airline. Then these two from ID and two ID refer to the database of airports. One airport data value has ID, code and the name of the airport. Finally, the aircraft ID refers to the database of aircrafts and that contains ID and the name of the aircraft. The other information of the flight's data is not connected to any further database. So we have four databases and these are basically four CSV files. I will provide the starting code to load these CSV files using the dictreader method of the CSV module. So each of the data value will be converted to a dictionary. I hope you can easily guess that all these attributes will be the keys of the dictionary. One complete database will be the list of those dictionaries for each of these four parts. I mean this flight is a list of dictionaries where one dictionary represents one flight information. And so on the other databases are list of dictionaries. Moreover, note the total size of each of these databases. One more thing I would mention here is that the linkage between these databases through the IDs is very simple to use. As an example, if for some flight data, if the airline ID is 100, then the corresponding information in the airline database is at index 100 of the list of airlines. And this is true for the other IDs as well. But when the data is loaded from the CSV file, everything is read as string and hence these IDs will be of string data type but can be easily converted to int to get the corresponding data from the other databases. Now let's load the data and view that in actual Python program. Here you can see I have the four CSV files for the four databases. Then I am reading one CSV file here. Aircrafts is the name of the list where data will be loaded. And I am just printing the length of this list aircrafts and also printing just the first element of the list. Then I am doing the same thing for the other three databases. So total aircraft data is of the length 384, the first data value has ID as 0 and name as Aero Commander 200. Then total airline companies are 1559, 
and then is the first element of the list shown here with ID code and name of the airline company. Then is the similar information for the airports. Then the major database is the database of flights having 136,012 entries. And this is the first entry of the flight list. Now let me just show you one sample flight data and the corresponding data from the other databases. Here I have taken one data segment from the flight list. Then I am picking the corresponding information of airline from the airline list. The index for the airline list I am providing is the value airline ID from the airline segment I have selected on line number 32. Similarly, I am printing the information of the two airports and the aircraft from the corresponding list. So this is the flight information. The airline ID is 480. And here we get the detail of the airline ID 480 which is at the same index 480. The airline is Delta Airline Incorporation. Then this from ID is the ID of the airport which is 535. And here is the detail of the airport. It is Hartford City Bradley International. Similarly is the information of the destination airport and the aircraft detail. Moreover we have the information of distance, air time, total passengers and the month of this flight segment. So you should know the shape and the connection of the complete database before you could do some task on that. Now let's talk about the task to be performed. For that we have a PDF. The database is explained here. The starting code for loading the database is provided. There is one example function to search the airport from the database by the name of the airport. And then finally is the list of problems you have to do. There are total 20 problems from this database. Each of you will be assigned 5 problems from this list. But I will suggest that you should try maximum problems from this list. Ideally all of these problems. So do these problems and let me know if you have any query. Thanks for watching.